Good evening and welcome to a special edition of Tucker Carlson Tonight. We're coming to you from Budapest. Earlier this week, we traveled to the southern tip of Hungary along the Serbian border. It was at that spot six years ago that hundreds of thousands of migrants from North Africa and the Middle East showed up, all hoping to reach the famously generous welfare states of Western Europe. And yet by the time we arrived at that same border on Wednesday, all was quiet and peaceful. There was no suffering mass of humanity, no crying children, no graffiti or trash or violence. In fact, there was just a simple chain link fence separating the two countries and nobody in sight, just birds and trees. So how did this happen? It happened because Hungary is a serious and modern country that cares about its own citizens. Hungary has no desire to destroy itself, no desire to encourage crime and misery and unemployment in its cities, or for that matter, no desire to contribute to the human trafficking of people fleeing from Syria. When illegal aliens arrive at the Hungarian border now, they are photographed and then they're politely escorted back across the line. The whole process takes about half an hour. It is the most civilized thing we have seen in years. And as we watched it, we thought to ourselves, why can't we have this in America? The answer, as you know, is because our leaders don't want to have it. They benefit from the chaos and the pain of illegal immigration. When the rule of law collapses, they become more powerful. That's why we have open borders. Fox's Bill Malugin has spent months covering the man-made tragedy unfolding at our southern border. He joins us tonight with an update. Hey, Bill. Hey, Tucker, good evening to you. So look, local officials here in Hidalgo County are just not pleased with the federal government. They say the Biden administration is just not doing its job when it comes to enforcing immigration down here at the border. So they say they got to fill that void and do it for them. So we'll show you what they've had to do here. Take a live look at our Fox drone right now. The city of McAllen has had to build an emergency tent compound in the middle of a park here in Mission, Texas, with the specific purpose of housing COVID-19 positive illegal immigrants who have been released from federal custody. They say they have to do this because the federal government has essentially been dumping migrants in downtown McAllen. They can't handle the capacity anymore. Neither can the local Catholic charity. Many of them are testing positive. They got to build this to keep them in one place because of the health risk. Take a look at this video we shot on the ground earlier today. We were given one hour of access to go in there and take a look at it. The current capacity started at 250, but they say they're expanding it all the way up to 650 migrants. Not everybody in there is COVID positive. Some of them are family members who decided to quarantine with their loved ones, but you can see there are hundreds of people in there. And again, the city furious. They put out a scathing statement towards the feds, uh, which reads in part, quote, the city intends to demand relief from the federal government for the alarming number of immigrants that are being released into the city of McAllen and quote, as these immigrants are released, the federal government does not test them for COVID-19. The testing question, they're tested by a third party once they're dropped off in McAllen. And look at this shocking graphic right here. Uh, the city of McAllen says just since the month of February, the federal government has released more than 7,000 COVID-19 positive migrants into their city, including 1,500 of which were just in the last week alone. And Tucker, back out here live, what happens with the COVID positive folks in this compound is once they test negative, they're free to go. Their sponsors will show up, their family members will show up. We've seen it happening. They can come pick them up and then they just take them elsewhere into the United States, wherever they wanna go. So far, we've talked to people who are picking them up and taking them to Houston and Louisiana. We'll send it back to you. Bill Malusian on the border, thanks so much. Unlike you, being forced to wear a mask and get the vaccine, they have total freedom, those foreign nationals breaking our laws. What's interesting is you don't typically see waves like this of human migration in midsummer. Historically, June and July have been light months for border crossings for Mexico. It's just too hot. But this year is different. The world's poor understand that America no longer has borders. Joe Biden invited millions to come and then promised them free health care and education and housing when they arrived. So they're coming. You would too, why wouldn't they? The migrants arriving are coming in unprecedented numbers from around the world, many thousands from Brazil alone, but they're also coming from Africa, Asia, the Caribbean, the Middle East, all over Latin America. Our country has literally never seen anything like this. The question is, what does it do for Americans? How does it improve your life or the life of any citizen here? And by the way, why should you obey our laws now that the White House has told the rest of the world it doesn't have to. No one in authority has explained any of that. And at the same time, the downsides of all of this are becoming very obvious to everybody, try as they do to squelch it. 
A few days ago, for example, in Minnesota, an illegal alien from Cuba beheaded a woman in broad daylight as she was sitting in traffic. Bystanders found her head in an intersection by her car. It was an awful crime, obviously, but the worst part was it didn't need to happen. Authorities had been aware for years that the killer was living illegally in this country, but they refused to deport him because he had rights. Even now, most in the news media will not report the fact that he was an illegal alien. Telling you that might discredit Joe Biden's immigration policy. Huh. Again, this is not natural. It is a manufactured disaster. It's not a tornado. It's not an act of God. The Biden administration did this on purpose, and they're still doing it. And that is exactly why Democrats become hysterical when you mention the obvious successes that are on display here in Hungary on the immigration question. They don't want you to know that there is an option to the chaos and filth and crime growing all around us. We don't have to live like that anymore. Actually, we could have a functioning country. All we'd have to do is to uphold our own laws, the ones already on the books. But that's not happening. Instead, the administration is using American courts to encourage more illegal immigration from other countries. In his immigration plan, Joe Biden proposes millions more in federal dollars to lawyers in order to defend foreign nationals caught entering our country. So as an American citizen, you can be summarily fired from your job for not taking the unapproved COVID vaccine. Yet if you sneak into our country violating our laws and you're COVID positive coming from Haiti or Brazil or Ghana or Honduras, you get a free lawyer, you get free housing, and then you get free health care. So watching all this, after a while, you begin to wonder, what's the point of having American citizenship? What's the point of paying your taxes? Other smaller countries, far less privileged places, have figured this out. Here's footage that we just shot in Budapest. Notice as you watch it what you don't see. There are not tent cities of drug addicts living in the parks here. There isn't garbage and human waste littering the sidewalks. People don't get beheaded at intersections. BLM is not allowed to torch entire neighborhoods in Budapest. That's how Americans used to live before our leaders decided they no longer cared about you. The Hungarian government protects its border because it wants to protect its citizens. That's the basic role of government. It's not a radical concept. It used to be commonplace across the world, especially in the United States. And now it's not. Here's the prime minister of Hungary explaining it, Viktor Orban. This is our country. This is our population. This is our history. This is our language. So we have to do that. Of course, if you are in trouble and there is nobody closer to you than the Hungarians, you have to be helpful. But you can't say simply that, OK, it's a nice country. I would like to come here and to live here because it's a nicer life. This is not a human right to come here. No way, because it's our land. It's a nation. It's a community, families, history, tradition, language. Ooh, they're so triggered by that. Family, history, tradition, language, quote. They hate it when you say that. But why? Those are all good things. In fact, they're the things that unite a country particularly a huge continental country that's multi-ethnic. You need those things. It's not hard to have a decent country. It's not complicated. You just need leaders who want one. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.